Don't worry about the next, cause it's your boy Chris with an X. And it's Black History Month. The reason why I have the African colors on and African adornments. Alright, so this is just a random chat about black issues. I was trying to come up with the a topic, but I just have random thoughts about the black community so I am going to talk about the black community first off you know as black people especially black men we have got to stop stereotyping ourselves because I was reading an article where Disney when the princess and the frog came out why was her prince black Everybody else's prince was their color. Uh, with the exception of Pocahontas in the second um, run, because she was with the white man. But, you know, somebody from Disney stated how, oh, black man does not deserve to be prince of, uh, a prince. You know, and while that is a racist ass statement, as black men, you know, just because you put on Timberland boots and walk around being a thug, you know, that that does not make you a man. Make you a man is taking care of your kids, doing the right thing even when you feel like it's wrong. But doing the right thing is never wrong. Like if you know you got a ba um, a wife at home, you don't go sleep out on her. Just because some chick with a big booty want to do you. Because most chicks will try you when you're in a relationship, when you're in a relationship anyways. Um, just rambling thoughts, you know. We have to stop stereotyping ourselves. So what if Jaden um, Smith wants to wear a skirt and be the face of of a women's line? You know, that's Jada, Jaden, Jada and Will's parenting. Whatever th they do does not reflect on your kids. You know, just like whatever I do does not reflect on your, your kids. You know, we really have to, first of all, stop caring about other nationalities, caring about us when we don't even care about ourselves. Just some real shit, you know. Um, yeah, that's that. Uh, you know, for black women, you know, you can't make a career out of being a hoe. You know, the white woman can go around and fingering herself on stage and she can come back from being she can live a normal life and people will be like oh you know she was crazy if you do that you'll be forever known as a black hoe a black Jezebel cause you know master rate um you know black women during slavery and this isn't to just ramble about what happened you know yesteryear not saying that we should forget about it you know, and this video is not to, uh, first of all, bash my community. S second of all, it's not for racist people to be like, oh yeah, you know, see, the black man doesn't care about the black woman or care about black issues. No, because if you racist, I think you just scum on the earth. Because like with me, first of all, I'm proud of being me. Whatever falls under that, like black falls under the Chris, then I'm proud of that too. Because the black man is the most copy man in America, in the world, if you ask me, but, um, you know, just, just rambling about black issues, because I didn't really have a topic specifically to pick. What else, what else, what else? Black inner city schools and black parenting. In this generation, we don't really have, we don't really have a traditional parents. So I feel that we need to get back to that. Some of the old school black parenting, because a lot of these kids in this generation is beyond disrespectful. 
you know, and they go to school, you know, acting out. Just because you feel like you go to an inner city school, just because you feel like you're not going to become nothing, you can become something with those raggedy books that they give us, you know. When I was going to school, I had so many deadbeat teachers. I had a teacher we didn't really do much in a class for the entire semester, which is like, what, four months? We only did one assignment, and I'm not even kidding. One assignment. His name was Mr. Gordon. All he said was, that's good. And then if you asked him a question, and then he would have, um, everybody would just be playing around in the class, you know, chilling. And, you know, just because you get through school and get a, a diploma, that's just a piece of paper. If you don't know eight apples from oranges, bananas from pineapples, your ass is going to suffer in this um this world. This is just what these inner city schools get. You know, we get the leftover teachers. We get some of the prejudiced teachers. I had a lot of prejudiced teachers, whether they're white, Mexican, or whatever. They was just pre some of them prejudiced. And then you do get some teachers who actually care, no matter what race they are. Again, this is just, you know me rambling about uh, um, black issues because of Black History. You know. You gotta be proud of your of features. Your hair is unique. Even though this is an Afro wig, your hair is unique. You know, it, you know, we give so much to the Asian community when we buy all of this hair and whatever, and I'm not saying it's excluding me, but you do have some cool Asian, you know, suppliers, but you do have a lot that just wanna take your money and, you know, make a run for it. You have to be proud of what's on your head. You, know, you you just have to be proud of your Negro features with your Jackson 5 nostrils. You have to just not let other entities or stupid people get into your mind. Because if you look in your community, you have a bunch of liquor stores, you have a bunch of beauty supply places, and you have a bunch of cemeteries, but you only have like one grocery store, you only have one, like one grocery store with every mile, you only have one library, but you have so many liquor stores, you have so many, um, you know, wig shops, that only benefit, like I said, I'm not against it, because, hello, if you watch my channel, you know, you know, I'm very creative, but, you know, it's not worth you getting your lights cut off just to get some hair that's, you only supposed to wear up to like five months and then you end up wearing it for a year and then it'll, it end up stinking your head. You know, there's just so many things, like I said, I'm not trying to take from the Asian community. But if you're going to do business in the black area, you know, you need to be more respectful. And that money should go to the black community because the black community does need it. You know? When a dog dies, when a dog dies in Crenshaw, that dog stays there and usually becomes roadkill to the point it's earned out on the ground. When a dog gets killed in Beverly Hills, that thing won't even get cold until they, they won't even let that thing get cold until they end up picking it up there's something to think about like sometimes I'm just so fed up with the black community you know I like black people but I hate niggas and yet that's the Chris Rock saying because it is true you know don't end up killing your own kind over some shoes that was manufactured from China you have to get your lights cut off and stand in a, co a line for like almost two days or you know it mind baffles me I mean and then it's just the whole police brutality thing now if you now if you get if the cops tell you to put the gun down and you done robbed five liquor stores and three banks and all of that 
and they shoot you, that's justified. You know, that is justified. But if you are a truly innocent black person, then you shouldn't be getting shot. Yeah, that's just my ramblings on that. Because there is a lot of innocent black people. But unfortunately, a lot of people like to paint us with one brush. Yet and still, the white kid can shoot up movie theaters or schools and they just get the cover of Time Magazine. But we get caught thugs. And I'm saying, if you do live the life of a thug and you are that type of person, if you get shot, you know, that's the life you live. You know, you went to chase waterfalls, that's on you. I'm talking about innocent people like me or like Trey Melvin or people who are just not about their life, who are actually intellectual black males. Anyways, I don't want this video to be too long, so any comments, questions, concerns, leave them in the comment section below. Anything you want me to talk about, comment section below. Till then, this has been your boy Chris with an X on some real black ass talk. Peace.